Hey friends, my name is Miss Elizabeth. We are in a brand new month. Do you know what month it is? That's right, it's October because last month was September, so this month it's October. That's amazing. We are learning about how God has a plan for each and every single one of us. Can you say that? Say, God has a plan for me. Great job, friends. All right, I am super excited to hear all about our true Bible story today. But first, it's almost time for worship. And before we worship, we pray. So sit down, crisscross applesauce. Raise your hands up just like this. Close your eyeballs and repeat after me. Say, God, thank you for having a plan for me. Jesus, we want to be your best friend forever. Holy Spirit, we worship you. God, we love you. God, we praise you. Amen. Great job. Stand up. It's time for worship. Even when it's hard to see 
Plans don't go the way you want them to. But there may be a lesson for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Open. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. Now, you would think being a handyman would make me pretty handy. <laughs> but I can't get the lid off this jar. Oh, it's really difficult. <sighs> well, actually, doing something difficult is what today's story is about. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a person named Joseph. Joseph trusted God and God had plans for him. Joseph also had a lot of older brothers. See if you can count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow! Ten brothers! Oh, that's a lot. One day, Joseph went to see his brothers who were taking care of the sheep. Uh-oh. Look at the brothers' faces. Are they happy? Oh, no! They were mad and very jealous. They didn't like that Joseph was wearing a special coat that their dad gave him, and they didn't get one. And Joseph 
was talking and talking about the dreams he had had and his brothers were tired of listening. So they put Joseph into a hole and took his special coat. Oh, how do you think Joseph felt? That was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Then the brothers sent Joseph far away to the land of Egypt to work. Joseph didn't know if he would ever see his family again. Oh, it was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Joseph was a good worker and he did the right thing. He was such a good worker that he was given a bigger job. But then something bad happened. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. People said Joseph did something bad that he didn't do and he was put in jail. That was so hard. But do you think Joseph still trusted God? Yes. Everyone cheer for Joseph. Yay! Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true! Joseph trusted God's plans, even when it was hard to do. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Even when it was hard, Joseph trusted God's plans. We can trust God's plans too, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Instead of being sad about the rain, I'm going to practice hitting the ball. See you next time. Bye! Hey friends, my name is Miss Elizabeth. Thanks so much for joining us today at Kidpoint Online. What amazing true Bible stories today, learning how God has a plan just for you. All month long, we have been learning about people in the Bible that were parts of God's plan, but His plan is still working even today. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Isn't that amazing? All right. Hey parents, hang out for just one more moment to check out Kidpoint Online at lifepointchurch.tv slash kidpoint and get the Parent Q app while you're there to see all of the amazing resources we have available for you and your family. All right, thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. Bye.